Welcome Sagittarius to your mid-May reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for the rest of May. Sagittarius, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energies beginning this period. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row are your challenges, if any. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fifth row is the possible outcome of the month. Sagittarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We are going to start off over here with Seven of Swords, and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we just want to see now what this Seven of Swords energy is for Sagittarius, please. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. Sagittarius, what I'm seeing for you as we start off our mid-May period, a lot of my Sagittarians could have an idea to begin something, to start something. And I feel, Sagittarius, you've been thinking about this for some time. As you can see here, the fields are empty, but the soil is ripe and ready for seeds to be planted. And as our night is holding up the pentacle. It tells me that all the groundwork has been done. And I feel, my dear Sagittarius, that a lot of you have done this without speaking to many people about it. Seven of Swords is coming in and is asking you, Sagittarius, to keep what you are doing close to your heart. Of course, you can share this with people you really trust. But other than that, my dear Sagittarius, you are being told now to go forward in whatever this is, quietly. Don't tell everybody of your plans and your ideas. It's just a gentle energy of the universe saying, you are beginning something, energy is ripe, everything's fertile, and you don't want to bring in any unnecessary negative energy. So move forward now, quietly and confidently. Let's move on and see what the Three of Swords is that is sitting in the area that you should focus on. So we want to see now what our Three of Swords energy is. For Sagittarius, please. And you have Six of Pentacles. Sagittarius, what I'm seeing here will probably not resonate with everybody. But you are being asked to focus on a previous situation. My dear Sagittarius, where I feel you were let down. Now, this could be something to do with what you wanted to get started in the past. And of course, this will be different for everybody. It could have been looking for a new home, starting a new relationship. Maybe you had a business idea. I feel that there were promises made and somebody let you down. Like somebody said they would be your partner in the business and then when push came to shove, they weren't available and whenever you called or needed them, they were busy doing something else. This could have been in a relationship, my dear Sagittarius. Perhaps in a previous relationship, you reached a point and you were now wanting to move on to the next level. And that particular partner made a lot of promises. Yes, we'll move in together, we'll buy a home together and ultimately we'll get married. And then when push came to shove, nothing came through. And Three of Swords lets me know that many of my Sagittarians were really left hurt betrayed and disappointed. 
you are being asked to look at this now, my dear Sagittarians. What Spirit wants you to do now is to understand that this is a past energy. And what happened in the past stays in the past. Look at it, see what happened, and then release it. And to understand, my dear Sagittarians, this is a past energy. And it's time now to release it as you make way for the new. Let's move on now because I do feel that you have a continuing theme and we are going to look at possible challenges and what the wheel of fortune is for you. Let us see now what the wheel of fortune is for Sagittarius, please. And you have four of wands. My gosh. Now, Sagittarius, I can tell you, you have no challenges for the rest of May. This is an exceptionally positive message. And it's so interesting that Three of Swords and Six of Pentacles came through, not as a challenge, but as something you should focus on. This is something that has already happened in the past and you need to look at it now so that it doesn't interfere in your present and your future. Because, my dear Sagittarius, what do we see here is something simply quite wonderful. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in, telling me that things are changing for you. This is why you have to let this go and let it remain where it belongs in the past. There's a big, big shift happening for you and whatever this is for you, it's leading you to our Four of Wands energy. Now Four of Wands is the 1111 card, which is a high spiritual number. So it tells me that what you are about to bring about is going to raise your vibration. And when your vibration rises, you are able to bring in all the good things that life has to offer. It also tells me, my dear Sagittarius, that you are going to be in a position where you have a lot to celebrate because things start to happen. The right people appear at the right time. You get a lot of this energy of flow and serendipity. One thing flows into another, flows into another, and it feels like the universe is with you as you make your way forward. So what a wonderful change and confirmation coming through for you. Let's move on now and see what our Ten of Cups energy is all about that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. So we just want to see now what the Ten of Cups energy is. For Sagittarius, please. And you have Six of Cups. Sagittarius, Spirit wants you to know that you are now entering into a new phase, a new chapter of your life confirmed by the Wheel of Fortune. You are entering now into a time where you are going to reach and feel your Ten of Cups which is the happily ever after card. So this Knight of Pentacles is now taking you to your Four of Wands and your Ten of Cups. Here the happily ever after is depicted with the happy family and the dancing children. But Sagittarius, we are speaking about your happily ever after right now. So now over these two weeks, the Wheel of Fortune turns it turns in your favour and your happily ever after has great possibility of manifesting. Six of Cups is coming in because Spirit wants you to know that this is meant for you. This is your time to receive. This is not luck. This is not random. And this, my dear Sagittarius, is Spirit telling you that this is divine timing at play. 
many of my Sagittarians haven't had the easiest time in getting to this place. But the past is over and now divine timing is kicking in and whatever this is that you want to initiate and bring about, the door of divine timing is opening up and allowing everything now to fall into place exactly the way it's meant to. What a wonderful message from Spirit. Now let us see who or what our King of Swords is that is sitting in the possible outcome of the month. So we want to see now who our King of Swords is for Sagittarius, please. And you have got Hierophant. Sagittarius, you are presenting as King of Swords at the end of the month. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of King of Swords we are speaking about. King of Swords is a very smart and logical king. This is the king that is able to put his emotions to the side to see exactly what is happening and what is going on and move forward so that he maximizes the energy of the moment. This is the king that takes that sword and cuts the past. He is able to leave the past in the past because he knows that his past is no reflection on where his present and future lies. So, my dear Sagittarius, this is the time now to work with our King of Swords energy. There is so much incredible energy coming through here for you. You don't want to let a past memory hold you back in any way. Hierophant is another big confirmation for us in what Spirit has told you. It's divine timing. This, my dear Sagittarius, is meant for you. And for my Sagittarians who think, oh my gosh, this is too good to be true. How can this happen to me? I don't deserve it. My dear Sagittarius, it's your time. You do deserve it. You are loved. You are valued by Spirit. Spirit sees everything. They know what you've been through. They know what you're going through. And now, with our Six of Cups and our Hierophant. This is really a big message from Spirit saying, it's now your time, my dear Sagittarius. Take the gift that is being offered. All you have to do is leave the past in the past and we will open the rest for you. And I have no doubt, my dear Sagittarius, that you are going to be more than able to accept what Spirit is giving you. Right, let us move on now and see what your Spirit Animal message is for this time. Right, let us see now what Sagittarius' message is, please. And you have got 28 frog spirit, clear out the clutter. And my dear Sagittarius, I know you know exactly what the clutter is. The clutter is the energy of the past. You know, my dear Sagittarius, when we let all those past memories come in and affect where we are now and where we are heading, it pulls us down. It doesn't let us live in the full moment and live to our full potential. So Frog Spirit is saying, clear it out. Let it go now. There's no room for it in the beautiful new picture that is coming in for you. So my dear Sagittarius, the frog is your spirit animal over this time. Wherever a frog comes up for you, over the next few weeks, please know that whatever we've seen and spoken about is now in motion and playing out 
exactly the way it's meant to. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful rest of May and I'm sending you all so much love.